a Russian television station recently interviewed jailed hacker Konstantin Kozlovsky, who confessed that he worked on the hacking operation, which we don't know how accurate it is, you need to be aware of it before we continue. Anyways, Kozlovsky went so far as to claim that he left a unique digital signature on the work, which he believes serves as proof that he was behind it. Described McClatchy news about Kozlovsky's interview, in an interview with Russia's Rain television channel made public Wednesday, Konstantin Kozlovsky provided further details about what he said was a hacking operation led by the Russian intelligence agency known by its initials FSB. Among them, Kozlovsky said he worked with the FSB to develop computer viruses that were first tested on large, unsuspecting Russian companies, such as the oil giant Rosneft, later turning them loose on multinational corporations. The report continued, Kozlovsky first came to public attention in early December when word spread about his confession last August 15 in a Russian courtroom that he was the person who hacked into DNC computers on behalf of Russian intelligence. The Russian was jailed earlier this year, alleged to have been part of a hacking group there that stole more than $50 million from Russian bank accounts through what's called the Lurk computer virus. Security expert Leo Tadio, the former head of cyber operations in the FBI's New York office, lent credence to the idea that the Kremlin hired a person like Kozlovsky to carry out this hacking project, stating, based on my experience and understanding of professional intelligence operations, the blending of criminal activity with sanctioned intelligence operations is an old page out of the Russian intelligence services playbook. What the defendant, in Russia, is describing would not be inconsistent with past Russian intelligence operations.